I'm over in Portugal for a few days to do a bit of fishing, visit my mum, uh, checked out the wind guru and conditions aren't ideal. It's pretty big and yeah, pretty rough and pretty windy, but it definitely could be worse. It's really hit and miss when you come over in the winter time and I've certainly come over with worse conditions. Maybe the sea can be really dirty if it's rained a lot. So it's definitely fishable and uh, like in any fishing trip, you just got to make the most of it. If I was living here, I'd probably be a little bit more selective about when I went fishing. But when you're only over a few days, you just got to make the most of it. So I'm just going to get out there and have a fish when I can and uh, hopefully get into some bass, of course. I'll be testing a few bits of equipment, some, some of the lures, some of the more colourful lures. I'm going to be testing some of the new colours we've had over the last few months. I'm also going to be fishing again with the Samson long cast rod that I've been working on over the last year or so and uh, hopefully they'll be ready you know not too not too late in the new year um, we've got two models coming out there's a 320 gram version which uh, casts up to 100 grams and then there's a 370 gram version which also casts up to 100 grams it's just the extra heavy version it's more for if you're fishing on rocks and you've actually got to lift you know fairly big fish out or pull them up against the rock something a little bit sturdier but they're both very similar it's just that i thought it was a good idea to um, have a lighter version for you know maybe beach casting and situations where it's not quite as heavy and so you, so both of them are fairly light actually but um, obviously the lighter you can get your equipment the better if you're using them you know for hours on end they're, they're both rated up to 100 grams, but I have cast uh, 120 and 130 gram lures with them, um, fine. But that's probably where they're at their best, probably between 50 grams um, up to about 90 grams, I would say probably they'd be at their best, but it, it's, it's hard to say really. And I've also cast uh, much lighter lures, even as low as 10 and 15 grams with them. So I'm heading out this afternoon to a nice spot that I've fished many times over the last 25 years or so. So the conditions look like they should be good for there. Um, it's a spot that's got a kind of a mixture of reef, some sandy bottom, uh, rocky parts as well. So really good bass terrain and uh, yeah, had a lot of success over the years with fish there. So um, hopefully there'll be some bass around and be able to get into something later. Okay, it's a lovely evening, the uh, wind's starting to go down, there's a nice reef here and uh, it's empty and the tide's going down so I'm hoping there's a few bass waiting out there for any fish coming off the reef. So I'm going to start off with this uh, stealth glide, see how that goes and um, maybe swap over to a tweak in a, in a bit. Uh, hopefully there's some bait fish about, must be. So I'm going to start with this glide, just slowly between the surface and a little bit underneath. Definitely looks good positions anyway. It's pretty shallow here. Yeah, maybe put on some tweak bait. God, I've seen a bird cormorant just dive down there. Good fish hit that. Hope he stays on. Really nice bass, so I just come through and hit it. It's coming at me. Coming right at me. It's good. Big. Not bad. Boy, it's swimming along really hard there. I'm right in front of that rock. Get a nice bleed, hope he stays on. Got him over. Can't believe him, that rock there. That's a really good bat. That's it, got him with the wave. Okay, I've been fishing at this spot for a while and I just I hung in there for a while because just felt really like there could be something good there and then uh, this lovely bass just came out and nailed the little 30 gram tweak bait uh, medium sink so yeah really pleased with that put up a really good fight really it came in at me but um, yeah felt pretty strong Now 
our sets come right over here. Yeah, he's going to hit there, he's looking up. We just don't want him to go, we're going to be hard, we're going to go around that rock. It's not a big one, but it leaves the hook one, that's for sure. But it's just coming in a bit now. That's why I'm getting around these rocks. There he is. Not a bad one, actually. Okay, okay, we've got into a bass. Not a really big one, but not bad. It's a good start, and uh, hopefully there's a few more about. I don't know. It's really rough and big. At one point, I thought it was just too big, but um, yeah, I managed to hook this one. Big set. Just got to be careful. Uh, this really catches all the swell here. It's been a really, it's been a really exciting session so far. All this swell, all these big waves, and bass around. Certainly, my adrenaline's going. Okay, I'm on, and it's right over some rocks. So, I try and keep it on the top. It's definitely a good fish. Definitely. right in between these rocks now gotta get him up here it's a decent bass so I don't want this one to come off good thing about the length of this rod you just keep them away the rocks that one. It's a handy thing. It's a well, I was, I was just talking about uh, changing the lure to a chartreuse but obviously I didn't need to, I just thought it would show up a bit better because there's some real sets coming in and it's really rough. Um, this is a fairly nice bass and um, yeah it's nice to be able to just lift them out um, you know say he's getting down too close to the water and as I was saying you know got that we've got that reach when they're near the edge so anyway still time hopefully for another fish uh, you never know get that cam big set coming Looking at one, two. Well, I didn't lose any lures. Got absolutely yeah. hammered. They okay, always got to watch out for those sneaker sets. Looking at they can be much bigger than anything else. Okay, looks good there. In a really good spot to keep my eye on those waves. 
got it right on the ledge now. Good. Yeah. On. See this. Just the little one. There he is. It's coming out here, I think. Nice little spoolie. Okay, a little schooly. Okay, back home now, nice and warm after as a pretty hectic session there out on the rocks. I uh, knew there was going to be some swell tonight up there, and I would rather it be smaller. But when you're on a trip, as I was saying, you just got to you know take take it as it comes really. And so at least I got out and fished and got into a couple of bass. It did look at first like um, it could be a little bit too big. It was a lot of water moving around. Um, it was windy, so it was fairly tough conditions really. And uh, yeah, to really watch out for the sneaker sets. There was some, yeah, some really big sets coming through every now and again that could really catch you out if you wasn't careful. It does go down a little bit in the Ooh. line. The uh, swell looks like it's going to drop off probably half a metre so we should be able to get up in the morning and find somewhere to fish and uh, in the afternoon it's back up again even even bigger than it was before so um, yeah, I'll be fishing somewhere else in the afternoon but um, yeah pleased how it's going and got um, a couple more days left anyway a few more days left and um, you never know how it's going to go, but it looks like it will come down again if it sticks to that, the wind guru. You never know in the winter it can change. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow morning it's going to be good. Just put on a fast sink tweet, 49 grams. It's gone out a mile. The tide is moving up really, really quick. So I won't be a little longer than five minutes. Okay, that's really the last cast, and I'm going to go. I saw something follow it, but I wasn't sure. I can see him. Ah, a lot of head shaking. I can't get him up. That's a really nice bass, just at the end of the session. Okay, end of the session. I hooked into this lovely bass, saved the day. Um, the, the tide's moving up fast, so probably there's gonna be one of the last casts. We might have a couple more, just to see. Um, but yeah, that was on the fast sink tweak, which I like to basically use on a faster retrieve more than anything. It works really well on that. So just back from the session, it was an absolutely brilliant morning today. Not so many fish, just the one. That I got virtually the last cast. Um, but it was no wind, um, really nice. I'm absolutely exhausted up and down mountains. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I caught the fish on the fast sink tweak bait, and uh, that's this lure here. It's um, more of a recent addition to the tweak baits, but I've been finding it really effective actually. I've been using um, all different lures on the trip, but it does seem in the winter time that the bass seem to go for more subsurface lures. It just seems I'm not you know certain but um, yeah last year I did well on them as well in the winter and um, I like to use the fast sink tweak basically 
for a faster retrieve more than anything rather than deeper i mean i still sometimes use it over pretty shallow ground but just you know the faster retrieve it works well with whereas the slow sink is better on a slower retrieve like early mornings and the medium sink you know somewhere in the middle but yeah and that's been going really well for me the that tweak bait um so i've caught everything i've actually caught so far up to now has been on a tweak bait and uh, yeah mainly the fast sink okay just off for an early morning session last night it was huge waves up the west coast but it's supposed to be coming down i'm sure if the swells come down enough there's going to be more bass about um it's just a thing when you get over in the winter you just never know what the conditions it can be it can be stay big for weeks so yeah with any luck um you get a chance to you know fish a few spots that i want to fish uh today so give it a go anyway Okay, so still some fairly strong swell. I've got this enticing minnow. I've had a lot of fish on this, so it just seems good for the conditions. Okay, so there's a lot of fish out in the waves. Looks like little spotted bass, really small ones. And right out where the waves are breaking when you see the sets. That's quite a way out. But I'm hoping that there'll be some big bass or bigger bass in on the inside. Come on. That's great. Now uh, it doesn't feel big. Oh, that's better. It was coming at me. So it's nice to get into a fish. Can you see it? I'm extending down pretty deep. There it is. It's only a little schooly. Oh, he's fighting now. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think he's coming off there. Okay, nothing to start with this morning. It was very quiet, uh, so I changed spots. Uh, got to get out of way here and I've seen a long distance I've seen some um, I think they're vario spotted bass out in the waves so that's a good sign but not that I'm uh, going to catch those and uh, I was hoping on the inside that there'd be some bass and well I'm going to get back to see if there's any more I just noticed a scrape on the line right near the bottom so I'm just going to retie that bit it's quite a long leader anyway just gonna do a Panama knot and then I'm gonna that's it just to to make sure it's tight I'm gonna to make sure it's tight I'm gonna use these pliers to that's it to tighten it up okay just snip that off yeah these these pliers are really good these are short nose pliers from um, tweet fishing and ever since last year I um, got a hook in my hand I thought it was a better idea to make sure I got these always on hand and they're, they're really well made good good quality those and the good thing about the short nose ones is the fact that uh, they stay very strong and, and don't bend at the end which I find happens with the long nose ones anyway right I'm going to go and start fishing now okay so I made it over the slippery rocks without falling so it's just up to this point here I'm going to fish off this point okay I'm going to try this little fasting tweak again um, I've had a little go with a bomb and also with a glide but yeah definitely seems like the fish are more into uh, subsurface than the sessions I've been okay it's fairly shallow where I'm casting oh, come on bass has hit it tweak bait again Feels quite decent actually. Flashing around at the moment. Feels alright. So keep him away from that rock. I was just thinking. 
how quiet it was. Just thinking how it looked good conditions. Yeah, you can see him. He's coming at me. Just managed to avoid the rocks there. Yeah, it's a good, good bass. Okay, it's so the bass on the spa sink tweak again. It's a slow sink glide, works just on the surface and just below. Okay, I'm on. Nice. Brilliant. So it's taken the stealth glide. Not a bad little one. That one's bleeding. Okay, that one's taken the stealth glide well. Um, the conditions is uh, it's a bit more colour to the water than, than usual. It's quite green after the big swells, so I thought this white lure would be ideal. Uh, yeah, so this one's bleeding, so I don't think it's going to be going back.